Hello lovely souls. Today we have a theme for high blood pressure and insomnia. And high blood pressure can be caused by a lot of different things. It's usually a water element, energy imbalance, where there is not enough fluid flowing through the body to cool it. So we have two techniques here today that really help to cool the blood, calm the mind. This is a wonderful practice to do before you go to sleep at night. And if you've had a frustrating, irritating day, as I have today, it's a wonderful thing to do to help bring more love in for yourself, a more loving, gentle attitude and to really help take that excess mental energy out and ground it down into your body. So the two techniques that we're gonna be using today are we're gonna be using some self acupressure on kidney six points. They're located in the ankles. I'll show you where those are in a moment. So you're gonna need a couple of pillows and you're also gonna need a rolled up bath towel or a pillow for you to sit on to help your pelvis be in the correct position to allow the kidney energies to flow through your body that will help to cool and calm your blood and also bring you back down into your feet, into your pelvis, into your lower body. So kidney six, some of the benefits of this particular point. It's known as joyful sleep. Love that name, shining self. And it's very good for if you have adrenal sweats at night where you wake up in the night and you're maybe not menopausal anymore like myself, but your water element energy has become deficient. And so your adrenals work over time to restore themselves when you're trying to sleep. You might wake up in a pouring sweat, really hot and then very cold. Um, very good, as I say, for high blood pressure, insomnia, uh, excess mental energies. If you have any kind of ankle swelling, which is oftentimes, especially if it's on the inner ankle, a good sign that your water element energies are imbalanced. It's also very helpful for anxiety, something that I am definitely challenged with on occasion and have been a lot lately. So I have great compassion for you if you also have that tendency to only be able to breathe up into your chest. This practice will help you to breathe more into your lower belly and bring more oxygen into and fluids into your water element energies. Um, it's also great for eye issues. Um, you'll oftentimes find people with high blood pressure and those of us that have times where we have insomnia, that the eyes are very red and I, know that I have that challenge myself because all that heat is rising up into the head instead of being more balanced and fluid. Also very good for um, fluid retention overall. If you have the tendency to have fluid retention as I do in my lower belly when I'm under a lot of stress and I have a very low blood pressure um, so low that oftentimes, you know, the rare occasion that I've gone to the doctor, they've asked me if I faint a lot and I don't. I have a very calm, low blood pressure, but a lot of inner anxiety. So I so understand that, you know, you can have both. You can have high blood pressure and not be anxious, or you can have anxiety and not have high blood pressure, but they're both water element deficiencies. Often high blood pressure, as well as it being a water element deficiency in your body, can come from anger, can come from irritation, and whether that's anger at somebody else, 
or anger at yourself, frustration with yourself. Um, this practice will really help with that because the mudra, the hand mudra that we're going to be using is lotus mudra, which is a wonderful mudra for not only a more generous and kind, loving attitude towards others, but also helps to bring that in for yourself. So this is a gentle practice. There's really not too much movement with this. It's focusing on working the kidney six points first, and then using the Lotus Mudra in various positions to help calm the mind and help bring more love back into your heart. Uh, Lotus Mudra is also very helpful for if you have ruminating excessive thought, um, it does help to calm anger and it has just a very calming, wonderful, soothing effect on the heart energies that can sometimes keep you awake at night. Because when your spirit or your soul feels disturbed, your heart energy is affected, which is why you might sometimes have palpitations. So first of all, you're going to want a rolled up towel. It's really important when you're in any seated position that your pelvis isn't rolled backwards like this, because what happens is it puts a lot of tightness on your kidney channels that come up from your feet through your inner thighs up through um, into your chest and end here on your chest, but then have other internal branches that go up and affect your eyes and your ears. So you want to make sure that your hip flexors are relaxed, especially if you have insomnia issues or blood pressure issues. So a rolled up bath towel that you can place horizontally along your sit bones so that when you come to this seated position, you can allow the pelvis to roll forward a little bit I'm going to show you that again. So this is the pelvis rolled back. If I sit up on my sit bones and allow my front body to come forward, it allows more openness throughout that kidney meridian. The pillows are here because you want to bring your feet into a diamond. I'm sorry, your feet together, but your knees in a diamond or butterfly shape and be able to access your ankles. Now, if this is uncomfortable for you, if you have knee issues or it's uncomfortable for you to sit on the floor, you can do this sitting up in a chair and you can cross, when you're sitting in the chair, you can cross one ankle over the top of your thigh and you can access the kidney six point that way and work on one side at a time and make sure that again, if you're sitting on the couch, that your knee is supported by enough pillows. So if your hip flexors are tight and up here, that you're not having to hold your leg up. The kidneys like to feel supported. They like to feel nourished. And this is a very nourishing, vitalizing treatment for the kidneys that helps them to restore, helps your adrenal glands to restore. So the feet are out in front with the soles together at about a 45 degree angle. I'm going to just move back a little bit so that you can see me and my feet a little easier. Kidney six point. If you locate your ankle bones on your inner feet, kidney six is right below the end of your ankle bone. So if you find your ankle bone and just kind of take your middle fingers and slide them down, you'll find that kidney six point. It's like a little indentation, a little hollow right beneath your ankle bone. So those are the points that we're going to be working on. And you can have your feet out further in front if that feels more comfortable or you can bring them a little closer, but really a 45 degree angle is um, the most effective because it will allow these kidney channels to be nourished that come up through your body, through the front body there. So 
um, Lotus Mudra is where we're connecting the water element fingers together and the fire, the thumb uh, fingers together. So the two of them are connected on both sides. And if you can, to bring the fingers together so that they're not, there's not a big gap in there. You want to connect the bottoms of your palms together so that your thumb pads and the pad underneath your little finger are connected as well. So you're pushing them against each other, not real hard. Um, and your other fingers are slightly curved. It's like you're creating the shape of a lotus. That's why it's called Lotus Mudra. And this is um, pretty easy for most people to do. If you do find that your fingers cramp or if something feels uncomfortable, you can always just shake them out and you know give them a little squeeze and, and go back into the mudra again. But as with all hand mudras, we like to hold them for about 15 minutes because 15 minutes gives your body enough time to assimilate the energy that you are creating with your fingers. And the little fingers are connected to your heart and small intestine meridians. So it's no wonder that Lotus Mudra helps to really calm the heart and calm the mind and also helps with um, cooling the heart as well. It's like you're receiving supportive energy. So this is one of my favorite practices to do when I've had a rough day with a lot of anxiety maybe didn't get enough sleep the night before and really need a nourishing sleep this evening. And the playlist on Spotify, you'll need to listen to that on a separate device so that you can watch me at the same time. And this one is very soothing. There's lots of lovely cooling water songs in it that have the sound of water. So it really encourages your, the heat in your body to calm down. So I'm gonna let you get into the position. Make sure that you've got plenty of support underneath your knees and that your backside, your bottom, what you're sitting on feels comfortable enough for you to stay in this position for um, probably about 10 minutes or so. We'll eventually come to a laying position. There's no standing up with this beam class. So may it bring you cooling, calming, loving, gentle feelings and thoughts. And I'm about to press play and I'll let you know so that you can press play at the same time. So here we go. I'm pressing play on receiving recalibration. We're going to use the middle fingers to connect to the kidney six points. Middle fingers actually connect to spirit or ether outside of you and also to your own soul, to your own heart. This is the pericardium channel that connects to your heart. So by applying pressure on your middle fingertips on kidney six, you're actually calming your heart down. So find your ankle bones, find that little indentation just beneath your ankle bones and make sure that you're not collapsing in your front body, that you're allowing your pelvis to be relaxed, your knees to be relaxed, your neck, your jaw, and just gently, you don't even have to apply much pressure with your middle fingers here. You can rest your other fingers on either side so that your middle finger's not having to do all the work and that will help to support. And taking some nice, soothing, cooling, letting go breaths. Placing your focus, you can close your eyes if you wish. There's nothing much for you to see here. 
of allowing yourself to feel those middle fingertips touching on your kidney six points and your ankles. And if you're sitting in a chair, it doesn't matter which foot you work on to begin with. We want to hold most acupressure points for about three to five minutes. Bringing your energy inward and downward. And nice exhalation. And exhalation is what allows us to let go. Open your mouth to let your jaw go and let some sound come out. in your throat. It's a great point to work on if you've had a shock, something that affected your nervous system. You'll notice with this song that she's singing, breathe. And I would recommend that you mouth that and make the sound of it as you exhale like this. Exhalation is longer than your inhalation. And it might make you yawn if you're tired. And that's a good sign. Taking your focus down to your feet, down into that kidney six point, breathing life into it. Let yourself yawn. Yawning is a wonderful relaxation response body's way of telling you to slow down. One thing you can do to help Give you more relaxation is gently swaying from side to side, hardly applying any pressure on your feet, just allowing those middle fingers to rest there. Side to side movements balance your brain. Notice you're tensing your arms like I just was. Let your elbows relax a little bit more. Observe where you're holding tension. Breathe into it.
notice that when you yawn, your eyes water. It's the cooling effect of yawning, of increasing the fluids in your body, nourishing your eyes, cooling them, soothing them, soothing any eye strain, allowing them to be softly closed. you have more saliva that builds up in your mouth. You can use control all the fluids in your body. Your sweat, tears, your ejaculate, your menstrual flow, blood, your lungs. Synovial fluid surround your joints. So we've worked on giving you three to six slurry points for a good three to five minutes there. Now you're going to bring your little fingers joined together, your thumbs joined together into Lotus Mudra. And if it feels uncomfortable to stay in this position, you can rest one foot in front of the other. Come into not a cross leg position, but one ankle in front of the other. And I recommend the left foot in front of the right one because your left foot, your left side of your body, receives. It's the receptive feminine. Your right leg is your doer, your, your goer, your action, your masculine energy side of your body. So we're going to start with Lotus Mudra. And we're going to bring it up to the third eye to help calm the mind if there's still excessive mental energy going on. Again, spreading your fingers, allowing a little pressure between your little fingers and your thumb. And applying some gentle upward pressure onto these latter two points here at the inner corner of your eyebrows because this will also help to clear your brain, clear your sinuses. You're using the knuckle on the thumb to gently press into latter two points with a little upward motion. Try and allow your shoulders to relax a little. You might want to roll them a little bit, shrug them up to your ears, exhale them down. So you're not holding so much tension in your upper back. Visualizing the beautiful deep blue indigo color of the water element energies, which is why I'm wearing that color today. Wearing the color and surrounding yourself in it will help you to cool any excess heat and nourish your water element energies. If you're sitting in a chair and it feels uncomfortable for you to hold your hands up like this, another thing you can do is to stack a couple of pillows up and let your head come and just rest forward onto bladder two points. Allowing your neck to be soft and your upper back to relax your chest to relax. And 
this is a wonderful way to just allow the tension go from your neck and your upper back, but also connect to your bladder and kidney channels. The upper trapezius muscle that goes into the back of your skull. Imagining a deep clear indigo that you can sometimes see in the night sky. Bladder two points are also wonderful for soothing tired eyes, red eyes, eye strain from looking at a computer. You may start to feel some warmth coming through your fingertips and the palms of your hands. Allow your front body to relax a little bit if you're doing Buddhist mudra like I am right now with my elbows rested on pillows. Just trying to allow your front body to still be open, not collapsing so much in your belly, but making your spine nice and long and your neck nice and long, allowing all the tension to just melt away. Becoming aware of more fluids in your eyes, in your mouth. Gentleness, loving kindness. Be yourself. It's so important to nourish yourself. And when others don't seem quite so irritating. When you love yourself and you feel good about yourself and kind to yourself, it's so much more easier to be generous and loving and kind to everyone else. And we are at the bladder two point now. You can stay in the seated position if you like, keeping your hands in Lotus Mudra and placing them in front of your heart. Closing your eyes and allowing your gaze to drop down into your heart space. And the sound of the waves washing away any feelings of anger or frustration or irritation at yourself. You're so worthy of love. You're so deserving of love for yourself. A nice affirmation that I use is I allow more love for myself to flow. 
flow through me. I allow more love for myself to flow through me. I allow more love for myself to flow through me. You can repeat that as often as you want to. Because when we allow it, we open to receive it. It's very challenging when you're frustrated with yourself to say, I am love. We can allow it, we can let it in, we can invite it in. We can say, I invite more love to flow through me. wish you can envision a beautiful bright pink rosy pink color in front of your heart in between the palms of your hands 